Hello, I'm in Osaka today. And what's in Osaka? Well, Capcom is in Osaka. My beloved video game company that I don't love quite as much anymore because uh, they haven't made a Mega Man game since 2010. And uh, if I could, I would like to tell them that. But yeah, um, Nintendo is in Kyoto, Capcom is in Osaka, all the other companies seem to be in Tokyo. So since Tokyo is really far away from me and Osaka is pretty close, Let's go to Capcom, shall we? So, here I am at Capcom. They're actually closed because it's a Saturday, which, you know, I should have realized. Uh, but yeah, on, on the other side of the street there, they have the Kaihatsu, Kenkyu Kaihatsu, which is development building. So they have two buildings close together. They also have one in Tokyo, but I don't know what that, what that does. But probably this is the, you know, the, the, the Hombu, the, the main place. Uh, inside, I just saw they had a Christmas tree already set up, which is, you know, it's a bit early, but people all around the world do that. After Halloween, it's just Christmas! Uh, they also had two big uh, soft toys of something, I don't know, maybe from Onimusha or something. And a poster of Biohazard, uh, the new Resident Evil animated movie, which I forget what the name is, in which where Leon looks retarded. <laughs> Sorry, but that's true. Anyway, yeah, Capcom. Love Capcom, love Mega Man, of course, uh, by Resident Evil. I kind of want to get to go to a company, buy paper and uh, and a pen, and basically write "Atarashi Rokumado Tsukete Kudasai" and put it on on their door. <laughs> I'm sure that'll work, right? Because you know it's been seven years already, Capcom, and Rockman X Over doesn't count. Uh, Mega Man collections don't count. Uh, merchandise don't count. We want a new game. Well, I I do anyway. So yeah, Capcom. So yeah, that's two. Well, it, not including Tose, which I. Barely know what they do anyway, but Nintendo, Capcom... Fuck yeah, now I have to go to Tokyo to look at the rest. Anyway... So, before I leave Osaka, I thought I might, might as well talk a little bit about my feelings towards Capcom. Um, basically, I still love them, pretty much, but... They used to be my number two game developer after Nintendo. Nowadays, uh, it used to be go like this, Nintendo, Capcom, Rockstar. Uh, then it was like Konami and then Square Enix or something. But nowadays, Capcom is after Rockstar, because they still do some good Resident Evil games, like Revelations 1 and 2, although 6 was not good. But 7 seems to have gotten back to the, the where it should be. So they're still doing fine with Resident Evil. They just, they're dis they've disappointed me the last seven years because they stopped doing Mega Man games. They just milked it for franchise potential and they seem to have no uh, confidence whatsoever in that a Mega Man game can sell today. And I blame Mega Man 10, not the games, but the reception to Mega Man 10. Because Mega Man 9 was, came after a bit of... The only games that were going on recently was like ZX uh, and ZX Advent on DS. The Battle Network series had just finished, the Star Force series was going on its third game. Mega Man 9 came out and everyone's reaction was like, Whoa, Mega Man is back! And it's classic and it's awesome! And me too. And I was like, my main reaction was basically, Finally we get Mega Man 9! After years and years and years of thinking Rockman and Forte on Super Famicom was Mega Man 9, because it came out of after Mega Man uh, 8. Uh, but that's now relegated to Mega Man and Bass, or Mega Man and Bass, the spin-off game. Uh, but then, the year after, they made Mega Man 10. And then everyone's reaction wasn't, Yay, another uh, cool Mega Man game in classic style. Instead it was like, oh, this again? Oh, this is so stale now, all of a sudden, just after the second game. Probably Capcom weren't... It was probably not the best idea to just release it the year after, probably. But Mega Man 10 was great. Uh, I thought actually it was slightly better than Mega Man 9, because Mega Man 9's difficulty was a bit o all over the map. And Mega Man 10's easy mode was a welcome uh, in introduction for new beginners. Since then, we've had nothing but cancelled games. Inafune left Capcom and didn't do so well with Mighty Number no. 9, even though I haven't played it yet, so I can't really say that it's bad or anything. And then they haven't made a Mega Man game. And no, I don't count Mega Rockman X Over, which is Rockman Crossover, which is some kind of... Well, it's a mobile game, first of all, and I don't, I don't play mobile games, really. But then it's just, just a bunch of shit, pretty much. Um, and then they made the Mega Man Classic uh, or Anniversary Collection or Classic Collection or whatever they called it, 1 and 2, which included, uh, I think it was like, Mega Man 1 through 6, 
and then seven, eight, nine, ten, and Rock Band of Forte, maybe? I don't know. So two good collections, but a collection is not a new Mega Man game. Uh, I want a new Mega Man game, like Mega Man 11 or even X9, because X8 sucked, uh, pretty much, and X7 is underrated, in my opinion. Uh, not too underrated, but somewhat underrated. Um, Battle, Network Battle Network series and Zero series were both, I think, prematurely ended, even though, sure, they built up more... Battle Network series had more, over se seven games. The Zero series had four games, but then they scrapped those two series and made two very similar series that were not as good. Uh, ZX for Zero and Star Force for Battle Network. And, but I don't know, I mean, at this point, a new Mega Man game would really mean, I would think it mean, would actually, since they did Mega Man 10 in an 8-bit style, they could, I would probably say coming back with Mega Man 11 wouldn't be a good choice. I think coming back with Mega Man X9 would be a better option. Or just Mega Man X something rather. It doesn't have necessarily have to have a number. Uh, they scrapped Mega Man Universe, which was like uh, Mega Man Maker, um, which I think they should bring back. Um, Mega Man Legends 3, of course, very sad. That's never coming back without Inafune, I can t pretty much guarantee that. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, Capcom, otherwise, uh, in the history, they've made tons of good games, like all the Disney games, and uh, I'm very low on the frame, but I can't. I don't have a tripod right now, it's on a thing. Uh, yeah, I pretty much wish Capcom would get back to some of their... Basically made just Mega Man, because other stuff they're doing fine with, but... Um, they're not as screwed as Konami uh, at all, but... Uh, and I still have a lot of... Uh, because when it comes to game characters, also my favorite car video game character is Super Mario, but then after it's Mega Man. Very close to my heart, so... Capcom, please uh, make a new Mega Man game. Please. Um, yeah, that's for it's for me and Osaka, and uh, I'll definitely come back here another time because I want to go to a football game and see Gamba Osaka play uh, versus whoever. Serious Os Osaka would be co coolest because that would be the Osaka Derby uh, or Derby, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah, that's Osaka. Mm -hmm.